That's too much what? <laughs> too much? That's well, too really much. No, never too much chocolate. Man. That's too much. <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> oh man, I should have got my water bottle. <laughs> Welcome back guys. This is the Croatia Initiative week number two vlog. So last week I introduced you to the US team. This week I want to introduce you to the Croatians. First we have Marko Junakovic who is extremely photogenic. He has been a huge help to us in getting to know the cultural norms uh, here in Croatia. Hey Marko, uh, you want me to get tickets to the soccer game? Football. Yeah, soccer. Football. Soccer. Football. Soccer. Football. Soccer. Football. Soccer. Football. Soccer. Football. Soccer. Next, we have Sada, a school teacher, a wannabe Italian, and a Croatian water enthusiast. Besides that, she has a warm and nurturing heart for everyone here in Croatia. Oh. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm so, I'm so thirsty. I just want to get some water. Yeah, go for it. Mmm, tap water. <laughs> this is the best water in the world. Drink it. Following her, we have Dora, the spice master. There is no one in Croatia who has a higher spice tolerance than Dora. But really, she has an outgoing and adventurous spirit and is such a joy to be around. Next is Hannah, the youngest member on our team and the youngest disciple in the church. When she's not watching Disney movies, she's spending time with her family and also she loves Queen. Next is Ben, the expat. Fun fact, he's been learning Croatian for the last four years and is actually here getting a degree in computer science from at the University of Fur. Fan. Fur? Fan. Soccer. <laughs> Lastly, we have this guy, the freshest and most solid guy, Philip. We're going to be doing an interview with him soon over his conversion, so stay tuned. That's it for this week, guys. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, I'm all out.